A youth basketball coach threatened by a parent of a child on his team, and that's just the start of a lengthy criminal complaint. That is our big story tonight at 10. A dangerous dad, he's accused of sending a threatening text to his son's volunteer basketball coach, and then that dad wound up in handcuffs. Now, a Cudahy father faces a handful of felonies after police and the FBI find evidence of more criminal activity. Fox 6's Sam Kramer live in Cudahy tonight with information we have just uncovered. Sam? Yeah, hi there, Mary. Police reports show Cudahy police actually knew the suspect well already. 36-year-old Michael James Umang text messages show that he sent texts to his son's basketball coach, including pictures of guns, claiming he would shoot him. But tonight, he faces drug possession charges after police and those investigators searched his home. At Cudahy Middle School, the night of December 14th was meant for basketball practice. Instead, Cudahy police take a call from a volunteer coach saying he told the parent of one of his players he'd need to leave the gym before practice in line with the rec department policy responding to COVID-19. But a little later, after arguing on the phone with that parent, the coach says he receives texts from a different number, including a picture of two guns saying, quote, expletive, I will shoot you to death soon. Court documents say with help from the FBI, police quickly find 36-year-old Michael James Yumeng matching a serial number on one of the guns to his family. He was arrested the next day, a relief to the coach who wrote in a victim impact statement, quote, I feared that when I left the building, he would be waiting to do exactly what he texted me. Then, serving a search warrant at his Cudahy home, police find even more cause for concern. A handgun with four loaded magazines, drug paraphernalia, including a pipe in scale, next to a small Ziploc bag containing a crystal-like substance. Yumeng was charged in separate cases, one count disorderly conduct, and two counts of a computer message threatening harm, as well as amphetamine possession with intent to distribute and use of a dangerous weapon. Yumeng will return to the courtroom next month for hearings in both of those cases. He's currently out of jail tonight on a $500 signature bond. We're live tonight in Cudahy. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. All right, Sam, thank you.